Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unlock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICSE Mathematics Class 7, Chapter 12, Parallel Lines Exercise 12, Question 12. Right? What have we got in this question? This says, find the values of x. Find the value of x in uh, the following figure. In the following figures, right? Now, figures are given. We have to basically find value of x, right? First figure, it has this one, uh, right? You can see that L is parallel to M, right? L is here. Okay, this L is parallel to M. This L is parallel to this M. Okay, this is what it says. And also, it has given us measures of a few angle. What are they? First is this one. This is 70 degrees. This is 100, right? And we have to find X. X is here, right? This is X. It might not be visible, right? But this is X here. Now, you see here that uh, first of all, we need a transversal here sorry we need to draw a line not a transversal we just simply have to draw a straight line through this 100 because with the help of this we cannot tell it so we'll draw the straight line like this through this 100 angle like this although here it's not coming straight i'll try to get it as straight right it's coming now you see here that when i have got this thing straight now we can see that over here this 100 degree was this much portion was 100 degree okay this much is 100 degree if i subtract this 70 this one this one from this 100 right what will i get this remaining part here uh, okay so you see this 70 is uh, basically what corresponding angle right so i'll subtract 70 from 100 so that i get this upper part of this 100 not this one right so this total combined right this much part is uh, 100 and this much part I need this much part right so what I'll do is simply go ahead and subtract 100 from 70 sorry 70 from 100 not 100 from 70 right so first part will have here 100 minus 70 will be how much 100 minus 70 will be 30 degrees right so this much part here is 30 degrees you can even give names to your angles if you wish to okay i'll also name it here i've got a few points right so i'll name this um so this let's say uh this point is uh let's say a here right a here and e here and f here right and this much uh this one i'll say g okay so if i have found it like this over here right angle g if, so this means this angle G this much is what this upper part right so angle G equals to how many degrees 30 degrees right angle G equals 30 degrees now so angle X will be equal to how much um, uh, sorry this right so angle X basically X equals to how much uh, you can see this 7 uh, this 100 right and this x are what corresponding angles right sorry not corresponding this x and this angle right this one with the red which i'll mark right so both of these are angles which are having equal measures why because they are corresponding angles these two are corresponding angle this and this so once you found this you can easily find so we already know this much part is 70 degrees so this much will be how much 180 minus 70 simply okay this will be give us what let's see uh, uh, so for the second one right uh, sorry not the second one it's still going that same right so angle x is equal to how much uh, so angle x is equal to basically 180 minus 70 because that 70 was over there so this is equal to 110 okay uh, so uh, angle x equals to 110 sorry this is not 70 sorry sorry this was 30 degrees right so our angle is equal to uh, 100, 180 minus 30 okay this is equal to 150 degrees you can see here i told it by mistake but you see here this much angle right this 70 degree which i told this is not 70 here okay this one it is how much 30 degrees okay now we can find x simply with that method we found it out so x is 150 degrees keep this in mind right the next one is the second figure what do we have here 
this EF is parallel to GH right this one's EF and this is GH okay so this one you will see uh, one angle is 5x the other is 3x minus 20 this is 3x minus 20 and this is 5x right so you can see if I add both of these what will their sum be it will be uh, 180 degrees because they are uh, what uh, co interior angles right uh, so I'll go ahead and quickly write this thing as in the second part of our question right what will we have uh, so second part of this question will be I'll, I'll tell you right so you can see that uh, you can see over here uh, we, we have to identify a few angles right so you see that uh, this HK HKB whatever this is 5x right this 5x plus 3x minus 20 right this one is going to be how much 8x there's some sorry there's some will be 180 degrees okay so we will go ahead and write it like this here uh, that 5x sorry 3x minus 20 right 3x minus 20 plus 5x equals to so this is not x this 5x equals to 180 degrees and why so because they are co interior angles co interior angles are always supplementary right so co interior angles now next step will be how well ne next step will be what solve the equation so this will be 8x minus 20 equals 180 degrees this will be 8x equals 180 plus 20 degrees right so 8x equals how much 200 degrees so x equals to 200 upon 8 uh, 200 upon 8 degrees right so x equals to how many degrees uh, 2 and 4 40, uh, 40 goes 5 times so 25 degrees x equals to 25 right then the next part of this question is this one right in this also you can see that if we add both of them up we will get 120 uh, 180 degrees in this third part you can identify this figure by what see here this two angles are given 7x plus 14 here and 4x plus 89 here okay uh, so if I'll add these two because they are uh, what type of angles they are alternate angles but also they are uh, which type of angles co interior angles they are supplementary right so they are supplementary angles so we'll go ahead and uh, so first we'll go ahead and write it like this that angle AQR and DRS right this angle AQR right this is our third part of the question we've got angle AQR equals to how much angle DRS so are you getting it this much angle right this AQR AQR is this point Q and angle DR is point S this R point over here this is equal to this and what is the re uh, reason here because they are co interior angles right co interior angles so this basically becomes their uh, reason then we'll make the equations add them and this sum will be how much 180 degrees because co interior angles are always and always supplementary right so 7x plus 14 um, sorry this is 11 no 14 equals to 4x plus 89 sorry uh, this will be how much 4x plus 4x plus 89 keep on adding all of these right so is equal to 180 now we'll solve it 7x 4x is 11x plus 14 and 89 will be 3 and 1 carried over so 103 this is equal to 180 clear now we'll have it here uh, 11x equals to 180 minus 103 so 11x is equal to how much 10 minus 3 is 7 7 minus 0 is 7 only 1 minus 1 is 0 77 now x is the last step this you can write the answer as well here x equals 77 upon 11 so x is equal to 7 right this becomes our answer and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe hit that bell icon down below so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video 
leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and bye bye